Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. It is day 17 and let's start a level. <laughs> Castle Crawl uh, without dashing really? That's interesting. Out of curiosity am I able to hold ye old dash button? Well I can but it doesn't do anything. <laughs> oh, okay. This should be a very, very fun concept here, because I'm so used to holding the Y button that I expect that it is going to be... Why are there coins there when you can't actually go underneath it? <laughs> the coins do not indicate a safe spot! Wow! Well, okay. Is there any safe spot on this? Probably here. Yes, okay. And that works quite well, alright. So... Coins, not your friend as usual, but you might have expected that by now. I mean, come on. <laughs> so, yeah, there's no running whatsoever. It is a no run zone, and how do I get past this? Oh, I didn't mean to wall kick. <laughs> I wanted to just jump straight up when I touched the ground, but I pressed it a little bit too early. My bad. Okay, so the first part. Stand on the corner, lightly hop, wait for it to fly over you, and there you go. And oh no, don't you dare. I don't, I don't really think it's worth getting power-ups, to be honest. Although, maybe, maybe it would be if there's power-ups around this area. But I mean, in the sense of that it's a lot easier to get through things that might be an obstacle when you're small. Alright, I'll just boop you, boop you. Uh, there really isn't much pressure to get from one spot to another in this, or, or maybe I just understand the concept well enough, I don't know, maybe, although this is that level that, uh, <laughs> if you remember it has the issue of, oh, yeah, I can't use the run button there, oh. That could be an issue. That could be an issue. <laughs> yeah, you if you don't you can't run across these holes like you could on the initial run of 9-8. So I'm gonna have to figure out some way how to get past this otherwise. Unless I'm able to. Oh, you can do little bunny hops. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. What am I supposed to do about you though? <laughs> yeah, oh. Did not mean to do that. <laughs> when there's a will, there's a way, and there's some way to do this. Uh, that should be okay, I think. Boop. Yep. <laughs> you must very, very lightly tap the jump button in order to get under them like that. Um, I think this is the part that's coming up to the run of doom with remember that one really large spike ball of death yeah that one well uh, maybe i'm not that close but maybe maybe i should get a power up if one exists in this world i don't know if i can reach that box because <laughs> like i can't hold the run button so i can't get any momentum on my jump and yeah, that's kind of well i can hold the run button but it doesn't do anything oh it's just a coin anyway Gotta look through each and everything intelligently and hope to not die. Uh, I don't know when's the best place to go. Probably here and then just go. Go! Long jump! <laughs> well, it feels like a long jump because, you know, I'm not holding the run button. And you are going to be terribly in the way, aren't you? As are you. Well, maybe not. I should probably get on here and see what I can do about this. Oh god. Because everything is in the line of fire here. Is it possible to do this in some... Oh yeah! It is possible to do without holding the run button. It only feels like there's a lot of pressure on you. Now, here's the last one. How do I time this? Because I know that... That switch there is on a timer in on itself. Well, 
Maybe what I should do is just see where the safe spots are first. Like, see where... Uh, those coins down below, I think, are it. I'll have to walk, not run, over to those coins. And hope for the best. So, as this is coming back, I'm going to hit that button. I'm going to wait for it. I'm going to follow it. Will I be able to... Uh-oh. Ah, uh, nope. Ah, look at that. There's the ring right there, too. So, that's the last obstacle I have to figure out. You know, I think the bony beetles are by far the hardest parts to figure out, or I, I should say the most uh, inconsistent parts, so to speak, because, you know, they're all timed in their own way when you get there and whatnot, so you gotta work with the spike balls and expect to be able to jump on the beetles as they are coming your way, I mean, as you're coming towards them and whatnot, and this is gonna flub up the timing, isn't it? Yeah. I've got to figure out this part here. Maybe what I should do is... Well, no, I can't hit it when it's going the other way because I, I can't be standing on there because the whole area is a death zone. Maybe what I have to do is hit this last minute. Wait, what if I killed some of these blocks here? Like, so I could actually... Oh, wait, they re respawn. Curses! <laughs> Dang you donut blocks, you're far more stable than you should be. I just don't... This last one, because I can't run, I don't quite get the concept of it. It's gotta be... Like, I've gotta hit the switch, and then I've gotta get over where those coins are before... That thing gets above me, although, I mean, you know, before it gets in my way. And the whole area is pretty much death. Maybe what I'm supposed to do here is, as it's going away from me, hit the switch, and quickly run down and in... Oh! 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 Woo! 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 Yep! <laughs> That's how it's done! Uh, it took me about 11 minutes for this level, but I know with cuts it's gonna be a whole lot less in the part. I didn't die all that much, it's just a matter of being very careful to get through the stage, because you don't have your... Good old fashioned run button. Express elevator! Mm, oh god, no! No! Is that possible? <laughs> like, seriously, is this going to be a plausible. Because anything that touches the elevator, it's. It's a done deal. You're. <laughs> like, uh, uh. No. Hmm. Like, you see, you got that coin there, and you got the enemies plopping in from the left. I guess it's another matter of learning the layout, I suppose. Maybe I should aim, actually, for the coins, rather than uh, avoiding them outright, so, I, so I'm able to collect them before they touch the platform. Like, over here, I probably want to get to the other side, yeah, to avoid the Goombas, like so. But what do I do about other portions like this. Uh-oh! <laughs> I guess I'm... I've gotta really have a lot of control over the elevator to prevent stuff from touching it. But once again, money is by far my greatest issue. <laughs> well, okay, maybe not. The enemies will still be just as bad as the monetization of this elevator ride. Oh! Now I'm gonna scooch over and try and get that coin, okay. It's multitasking to the extreme here. Because <laughs> it's rather tricky to focus on the ele- Oh god! It's rather tricky to focus on the elevator and preventing stuff from touching it at the same time. I believe I don't have to worry about the um, elevator getting touched by these kinds of coins, right? Because that would be kind of silly. <laughs> Okay, I thought so. Okay, and I still need to reach the goal in ice form as well, so I can't take hits from enemies. Uh, oh no! I think I had the right idea by staying to the right, though, because then I'll just collect the coins and then uh, slide beside that bob bomb. Alright. We got some minor progress, I suppose. And wait, isn't this the level that I had to fly through? You know what, the PA corn? 
I believe it is. No! Ah! Oh. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to the elevator. Like how close it was to the edge. That's what I mean about multitasking here, because it's a matter of getting to know things while keeping things under control. Like here, gotta collect the coin while keeping it steady. See, I can't uh, over tilt as well, because you know, you gotta take control of your movements and whatnot. Alright, collect the coin, collect the coin, there we go! I wasn't far enough to the left. <laughs> Coming up to the bob -omb portion, I'm going to go here, and oh, come on, how is that possible? <laughs> Just look how little room I have there. And then I gotta avoid the upper bob -omb as well. I wonder, am I allowed to freeze enemies, and can the free, can the frozen enemies touch the, um, the lift? Just, let's for the fun of it. Nope, it cannot. <laughs> So, freezing would not help whatsoever. Although, they could prevent enemies from falling onto it like that. You know, like, by blocking their drop points. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Dang it! Ah! So that's how it's done. But now, what about this? Because isn't this going to be a even tighter section? Yeah! I don't know how to get past that just yet. But that, that other one was kind of insane. Come on! Ah! Missed the coin that time. Too early. What? Oh great, it actually freezes them in the air. Guess I won't try that one again. Why did that one fall so early? <laughs> ah, I think I get this first portion and why that happened before. When you jump up to collect the coin, you offset the screen's timing and enemies spawn earlier than they normally would, so it kind of bridges the gap in a tighter fashion than it would be normally if you wouldn't jump or if you would jump. I'll show you what I mean here. And See, that one came a little bit earlier. <laughs> By the way, this is not a very fun concept. <laughs> the, the surface area is way way too large for its own good here. It's way too easy for enemies to fall. Like, you see how early the Goombas fell the first time? I mean, the time that I died over there? Yeah, they didn't do it that time. Well, that's because the timing was different there. It's it's another uh, meteor issue in that things are too random for their own good. And yeah, that's pretty much all there is to say about it. So it's if you get past spots, it feels more like luck rather than skill or timing. And that's not a friendly gameplay element in my opinion. Because platformers are supposed to be based off of skill, not just dumb luck here. Like, I know I'm supposed to be here for this section and... Oh! Oh! Okay, I made that. Now this. I don't get what they want me to do here. Am I supposed to, like... Just look how much... I mean, there is actually no room for that platform to go through. So, what am I supposed to do there? Am I supposed to, like... Somehow manage to kill the bob -ombs and then swift, uh, sw swiftly move the platform to the other side? Like, jump on a bob -omb and then get to the other side where there's an open space or something like that? That's the only way, only way I'm seeing myself getting through that, but... You need the platform to be fairly close uh, to be the to, to be next to the bomb. Um, otherwise, you know you won't be able to get past them. And I think I'm actually going to skip this stage and move on to the next one just to see what's up. Cashless castle. Oh no! Is 
Is that possible? Because that's the castle crawl on with no running and you ha can't touch coins. That might be the hardest one yet. You know what? I'll just go over to these boost mode here. <laughs> <laughs> For now, I'm tired of not making much progress here, and... Hold on a sec. <laughs> Alright, I got a Wii Remote, all synced up to the console. Let's see here. I'm guessing I should just be able to tap on there, but I don't understand... Do I really have to go... They're actually making me change controllers like this rather than... Okay. <laughs> why why couldn't they just let me do I, I don't know. <laughs> well anyway, Piranha Plant Hideaway! It's another original course. Use boost blocks to re what's a boost block? Uh Oh, you can touch on the screen to do, or you can make blocks, like on the Wii Remote, I mean, uh, they're actually making me do two controllers at once here. You've got, you gotta touch the touch screen to make a block like that, and then you gotta climb up those blocks. Yeah, that, oh, that's... I don't think that's going to be very fun here, unless this was supposed to be a uh, uh, two-player thing, which makes a whole lot more sense. Uh... <laughs> unless that's really what you're supposed to do, but it, it looks like it's possible. I can actually touch the prana plants and they actually snarl at me. <laughs> that's interesting. So I'm, I've got my hand just above the controller here, and I'm just just tapping things as I go with one finger on my right hand, and oh god! <laughs> okay, that won't be too bad now that I now that I understand the concept of that. I wish I could show you my hands as I'm doing this, but even if I could, the camera would be in the way of my hands, and it would be very hard for me to show you what I'm doing anyway. But just try and visualize me playing, whoops, playing with two controllers at once, and you've got the idea of uh, boost rush mode here, and I don't, I really get the feeling that I should be doing this with more than one player, but it's something that seems fairly possible, just as, oops, just as one player here. <laughs> Unless that is the idea of boost rush mode, is to set down your tablet controller and play with both at the same time like I've been doing here. By the way, notice that there's little suits of cards here, you know, suits for uh, on a deck of cards. Just a little added detail, I suppose. And I was actually going to jump down this hole blindly my first run through here, but I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> Alright, that's okay. Gently get through these obstacles and what do I do about you? Can I like Oh there we go. <laughs> I thought he was gonna bite me if I didn't do do anything about him there, because he's he was like right over the ring. But that works. Yeah By the way, that's pretty mean. <laughs> I don't I really don't know if they want me to do this one player or two player or whatever, but anyway, coins in the forecast! Multitasking, I'm guessing. Although, it might not be too bad to keep things going. I just need to make sure everything is in my jump range. Just gently tap with my pointer finger. And, oop, didn't mean to do that, but I will make a block there. And these blocks actually last a lot longer than they feel. It's just that they shrink. And, yeah. Oh, nope. Poopers. <laughs> Those uh, last two special challenges and that um, uh, coin challenge one, those are, are by far going to be the hardest stages in the challenge stages to complete. And I might actually uh, take a break from them 
because they are seemingly something that looks extremely difficult and I don't I I prefer to make some progress on a game and then like work on them on the side or something like that like maybe after I do as many boost rush mode things as I possibly can I will oops, whoa, 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 shoot shoot <laughs> I was one coin away after I do all the boost rush mode ones that I can just like the uh uh, coin and special ones that I've been doing here that I've been skipping some stages here and there uh, what I think I might do is um, Go over to Kirby 64 and then like make parts of this on the side. Oh god <laughs> Until you know until I complete the game or something like that and then only upload videos of this Once I actually make some progress of it and by the way this multitasking is pretty mean, <laughs> and I should probably stay more towards the bottom of the screen rather than going up so high. I don't know why I've been doing that, but I guess it's just a matter of me getting used to this mode. Oh, no, no, no! I tried to save myself with the block. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely something very new to me, and that's why I'm, I'm flubbing here. Uh... Um, you know, come to think of it, if if I was playing this, like, in multiplayer, I don't know how I would be able to coordinate this with somebody, because someone is on the controller, you know, the tablet controller, and I'd be controlling the character, and what would happen is that the, um, we would have issues coordinating which coins at this point we would want to get, so to speak. It's that sort of thing, so maybe it is better that I do this one player because I know exactly what I'm supposed to be doing, although at the same time I wonder if uh, I'm doing it the way the game designers intended. I really don't know. Whoa! almost didn't make that there. No, no, no! Save me! <laughs> uh, I'll just use this one as sort of a testing ground of sorts to see how long I can last, I suppose. Oh, 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 I failed. Well, 16 coins isn't too shabby, but I definitely have, would have to be faster in order to get the goal because I knew time was running out and stuff like that, but I got a decent grasp of the concept of that. The coins are pretty random though, and that it might be difficult to get any score or any uh, consistent score out of them, excuse me. Alright, when Waddle Wings attack! Mm, uh oh. <laughs> so it looks like I'm using boost blocks the whole way through and oh boy <laughs> oh and I also realized that I need to shake the Wii remote on top of um you know to do that spinny spin jump thing on top of keeping my finger steady where I need it to be on the uh, tablet screen in order to make progress oh my <laughs> I did not think of that before, and I should have made a block low there. But that's just me being a noob at this, basically. <laughs> Alright, let's go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna stay... Like... I accidentally touched the waddling, and it made him do that. <laughs> so, I guess... If I need to, I can redirect the enemy's path, so it's kind of... Oops. So it's kind of good that I did that in its own way because I was able to find that out and now I know that for the future because I can use that to block enemies' progression towards me. And I should really aim for the center of the blocks on my landing because the edges of the blocks are the ones that disappear the fastest, obviously. Now I gotta get low at this point because I know that the stream of waddle wings are coming. And they're coming from the back way... Oh god. <laughs> Uh, I don't know where I should be. Middle? Uh, okay. I'm okay with that. But I need to move faster. I think I've got this. Yeah. Not too bad. Yeah! And I think what I'm gonna do is end off the part here, because I got a lot of editing to do in this part, I can tell. And I wonder if I should look up if I'm actually supposed to be doing boost rush mode on my own. Or if I'm supposed to do it with somebody else. I mean, it seems possible to do it on my own. I'm, As you can tell, I'm doing it right now. But anyway, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.